Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today, part two of building Ninjago City. This here is part one. And now there's coming the eye to show you. You can click on it and watch the first part of building this really amazing set. This is the old world. This was one instruction booklet. Here is instruction booklet number two. And now we're building level two, the streets, or the street, where the main life of Ninjago City is going on. Here, overview of the five minifigs for the second level. And here we have the bags seven to ten, brings us this here, and eleven and twelve, the rest. Because each big step or level has two, two heights, so you're building here a structure and a structure above it and then the next. So there are three levels but six floors. Three levels, six floors, yeah I say. That must be what I mean. Okay. So here we have all the stuff in bag number seven. And I hope I have enough fun or the same fun as on level one, the old world. So in seven, bags number seven, is this nice guy waiting for us. He's perhaps the chef of the crab restaurant. Then we are building this here, the crab restaurant. And what's cool that they used Technic frames and blades. So this will be massive and sturdy. That's the best way. I was a little bit frightened. They use the normal modular house Technic with blades. But we have here not the same walls or structure as we known from a modular. So to use here Technic frames to get a really stable base for the second floor, that's a great decision. Why this Technic frame has to be azure, I don't know. Okay, here we have two bananas, a golden one and a yellow one. And I'm building now here, I don't know what this will be. Two cylinders, some red pieces and some Technic pieces to came in here. We will see what this structure is for, but I'm happy with the decision to use frames for a sturdy, sturdy base for the level of the streets. Or we can come into the end of building step seven, and these two cylinders here, they are the crab cooking machine. You see this here? This is a rubber. And you can turn it and bring out the cooked crabs. That's a nice, nice idea. We have this mechanism here. I don't know. Brings a tile here and the rubber brings it back, I don't know, perhaps that's for the ATM. And here we have a nice Asian door. And this is the rest of seven. It's cool, it don't build any, on, I'm not building just rooms, I'm building rooms with some mechanical technic stuff. That's new, new and nice. Building step seven is finished. The chef is called Zeverin Black. I've had a look in the instructions. Okay, here it is. The little crab restaurant. And we have heavy tools here. Two hammers and here a little bone saw, saw chainsaw thing. Then we have here the crack cooking machine 
or frying machine. It's actually nice to have some some working things. A little bit mechanic in a modular building. Here we have the mechanism, I believe, for the ATM. We will see. Nice build. Here we have a sticker. Okay. Overall, funny 20 minutes. You see here are technic elements again to build the next level step. Number 8 brings us here, Mother Doomsday, he's the owner of the comic, Doomsday comic shop and he looks a little bit like the comic book guy from The Simpsons, not so fat, but the rest is okay. Gallidor, he has a nice printed shirt. And here is the place he works, a nice little comic store. These are actually all stickered tiles and here in the background we have printed tiles, it says Star Farer, Star Farer, I don't know. These are four printed tiles. Here are some mini action figures, each comic book shop sells. It's nice. What is interesting is there's, there's a gap in the bottom. There's a 6x6 six six tile over it, but I believe this gap Somewhere there it's needed. Normally Lego does not do such things. Okay. The comic store is finished. Got another sticker here with a lot of discount. More action figures. And here more print media, I don't know. Some sewer tubes or something like that. Okay. This is what is left for for eight. I believe this will make another small room for here to dock on there. Further we go, here a nice stair, nice tiled stair, and this here, a lot of brackets, and when I'm right, this will fit here perfectly, so the elevator can go further. This is the back, this here are just two big panels. The open side, inside, that looks nice. And I don't know what the store is for, we will see. If it has a purpose or it's only decoration, we will see. Building step 8 is finished. We attached here the structure to the crab shop, crab restaurant. There's an arch here. And on the bottom there are Technic plates and pieces. Here we have the mechanism for the elevator and it fits perfectly there. Still don't know what the door is for, but okay, we have a car door, crab shop, comic book shop. Okay. This was the first half of the street level. Step 9 brings us this minifig. And he has an incredible cool name. He's just called Guy. Okay, and we attached here 
one by two or a lot two by something and it's totally sturdy now everything's fine and now we're making a boardwalk here something like that now we build here the back of the elevator shaft and this is you can open it here then slide the add that's the add for Godzilla movie and then you have here tired of walking the incredible ninja revenge guy and coming soon Galidor okay I will use this one just slide it in fix it here and the other ads are going here and then design there it moves up and the door is for fixing it ha clever and here you can push it here hardly it will open the door and the other ads came out it's nice oh, nearly finished nine some things now here we have got an ATM with a sticker and when you remove the ATM you see there's a gap and when I push the mechanism here you see it they came out here these are the 100 studs tile so and you can get 1300 studs money out of this ATM and we got a great usage of parts here oh sorry I have to remove it you see this this is a, a normal panel and you just fill in the round tiles and then put it back on there without losing any and then we have this really cool effect it's so cool idea and it really looks awesome and here the golden tiles and the red pillars it's just an amazing awesome set so many cool ideas building techniques and different usage of pieces and parts incredible incredible so building step seven eight and nine half of the big uh, of instruction booklet number two is finished and it's incredible again in part one we have a nice usage of parts like the crowbar for a roof and so on and here we have some cool mechanical stuff here with the shield only stays in position with the ads behind it and the closed door we have this cool idea a really cool crap restaurant with a nice mechanism of here cooking the crabs we got a cool functional ATM and a nice little comic store with the Simpsons comic bookstore guy <laughs> yes it's that's awesome that's really awesome okay now we're going to 10 oh, we are in this building step 10 and oh, wait, we got Tommy, a little nice boy with a Ninjago t-shirt or pullover, sweatshirt, 
nice little mini suit. And we built it a little update for the comic shop. Not much, only three studs high or something like that. But it says us comics and it's nicely, nicely made. Inside we have here some nice details. This is a sticker. Overall, nicely made. So now they are nearly the same height. That, that is everything left from 10. 10 is really only two small bags, the smallest step so far. And I believe now we will building the entrance here further of the grab restaurant. Building step 10 is finished and it brought us more details. Here we got the security bars so that nobody can fall from the floor. Here surf bread, a surfboard, sorry, surf bread. Sometimes I'm mixing up languages. Okay, you see this cool cool comic sign. And some funny details over there. We got a lot of lampignons, lights in this nice orange. Oh, we got this little crab built over the entrance. This is a nice build. Here more sticker, sticker, stickers to give more details and make the set as colorful as it is. This here is made with little, uh, what I call boomerangs. And on the other side, this here finally fits perfectly together. Our sewer system or what it is. And we built in the elevator, or part of the elevator, I don't know. And it works. And this platform here, the same as there. Okay, it was a small build, more for decoration than anything else. But now it looks great. Okay, here we have three bags with 11. Let's go. Building step 11 brings us Juno, a fashion designer. Nice figure. And this starts like a normal modular for a second floor or something. Blades with two by something blades fixed. This is will become a, a fashion store. I see over the crab restaurant. Good. We are starting for Juno's fashion shop. Our fashion store is growing. Got some gold things and some orange things. A sticker on a golden tile there. Printed tiles for cell phones, and this will be placed here and we have these two arches for the to connect with the other structure and this here to connect with the other structure. okay. Here this nice big screen and it will fit here in perfectly with the corner. That's cool. Okay, some things are left. Step 11 is finished. A little fashion shop. Here we have a ninja manica.
a guitar this year from the trucks, the exhaust pipe, hats and helmets, a skateboard, a golden frog, lightning, more hats, another Ninjago Ninja Manica, the doors to the walkways to the next building, nice. Okay, I go and get the bags with the number 12. And with 12 we have finished the street level. The bags number 12 brings us this young guy here with the green eyes. He, there is no name in the instruction booklet, but I believe it's one of the ninjas. The one, the green one. I don't know the name, sorry for that. I will know the name to the review part. Then I will have the names. Okay, we attach this here, this structure, onto the designer fashion shop with arches and normal bricks and this will continue the elevator. Uh, I'm excited if this hole and that hole there will have a meaning, I don't know. We will see. Completed this structure here for the elevator. It's nicely done. The elevator technique here. And we attach the next structure to the fashion store. This is, you can see through. This here, I don't know the purpose at the moment, what this will be. There's this form part, you just push over here and then you have yeah, this stick or I don't know, we will see. I'm excited what this will be. So the instruction booklet number two, level two, the street is finished. We have most of our Ninjago city done. The roof is missing, but I expect this must be around 3000, 3500 parts, I believe, and is one of the biggest modular buildings, modular like buildings. Okay, what have we accomplished? This here, now the elevator goes further. Here we have the jail doors, like here, to walk through. We have this, perhaps a little dojo, I don't know, I don't know what the structure here, or is there just a... Should this show that, that there is a, a tree growing out the house? I don't know. I have to look at the movie, so I knew the purpose of this. We have a nice little roof here. The cherry blossom. I know why this structure here in the middle of the room. It's for our uh, for the heads. So okay. This was part two of three. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That's really an awesome set. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you got uh, some fuel for the nice, nice details in the set and the cool building techniques. And I hope you like the set now or you go and buy it. So, okay. Next is part three, the final build and the review part. Perhaps be in between this part here, 2 and 3, there will be the review of the C63 AMG Mercedes 
DTM racing car I got yesterday with power functions and LED and app steering and remote steering and okay a lot of a lot of cool stuff I believe I will build the Mercedes before the last part of Ninjago City. Okay, I'm Frank from the Brick Freaks. Have a good time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.